In this video, we show you how accurate screenshots can help ensure your visual editor tests pass with Rainforest automation. Rainforest tests created with the visual editor are no code. When executed using automation, they operate on a visual level, just like humans. A visual editor test evaluates what users see and experience. When the test executes, it's as if a human goes through the steps, performing actions like clicking buttons and keying in information. To accomplish this, Rainforest Automation relies on screenshots, and getting those right can determine whether your test passes or fails. Let's take a look at some examples. If an element such as a checkbox appears multiple times, Make sure to capture enough of the surrounding area to isolate the one you want. I want to book a room in Las Vegas. I need to make sure Wi-Fi is included and that the hotel is pet friendly because I'm bringing my cat. Let's see what happens. Hmm, not good. Okay, it looks like I captured the checkboxes, but forgot to make them unique. So automation might or might not pick the correct one. Let's try again. This time, I made sure to include some text. And it worked. A more focused screenshot ensures the element can still be matched if the surrounding area changes. Looks like I need a car. I'll choose one, then book it. So I'm trying to click book now, but it's not working. Yep. Automation is having trouble finding the target. Let's take a look. Well, I captured the book now button but I included some extraneous text. Let's try again. This time I made sure to grab only the button. And it worked. Text matching provides a secondary layer for comparing elements by examining their content instead of their appearance. In this example, we'll see what happens when an element changes after the test is written. On the landing page, I want to click this button. Notice that it's green and text matching is enabled. Everything worked. Okay, I haven't changed the test. I'm still looking for a green button. This time, I'll disable text matching. Notice though that the button is now black. Hey, it still worked. Automation uses grayscale for visual matching, so the color shouldn't matter in most cases. Everything's the same on the page. Except this time the button is bigger. Whoops. Well, the test failed. Keep in mind that visual matching is pixel based. And because text matching is off, automation couldn't find a match. For this test, text matching isn't the best way to go. I want to scroll until I see List Your Property at the bottom of the page. But notice that the exact text appears at the top, as well as the bottom. With text matching enabled, automation finds the first occurrence and doesn't scroll. As a result, the next step fails. Now text matching is disabled. Scrolling occurs and the test completes successfully. Often when you do a search, you get back multiple similar results. In this test, I'm looking for Treasure Island because I like pirates. Watch what happens when I click the Book Now button. Because there are multiple identical buttons, I didn't get the result I wanted. This time, I'll try selecting a larger area to make the screenshot unique. Hey, 
and it worked. By default, the target indicator appears in the center of your screenshot. Sometimes, that's not where you want it. In this test, I want to select from a list of sweaters. Well, that didn't work. Let's move the target indicator to where the hyperlink is and try again. Okay, that's better. When working with dropdowns, you could click the element, then click again for the item you want. However, the preferred method is to use select. Moreover, Select is a better choice when writing tests for the tester community. When writing a visual editor test, keep in mind these pro tips. Ensure the area you're capturing isn't so small the element cannot be uniquely identified. Conversely, make sure the area isn't too large. If the element's position on the page changes in a future release, it's likely your test will fail. Learn how text matching can help you write better tests. If the page displays rows of results, make sure to capture enough of the row in question to make it unique. Move the target indicator as required. For drop-downs, use Select versus Click. Thanks for watching.